All right, so I have like five health drinks after like getting myself all the way up to full, and also I got five med kits, so I think I'm good for the most part. Uh, that, that's the fortunate thing about these games, you know, you got a lot of health stuff. Anyways, a lot of these doors are pretty much broken. You won't be able to go inside, but this one, this one in particular, you look at the blood, right? Mm. You look at that, and you actually get a memo, and it's very important. You see, two, four, two, one. 2421. Tun tun tun, the numbers. Better not forget them. So I'll write them down here. The other one, my secret name. Hmm. It's very cryptic. The other one, my secret name. Yeah, so you want to know what we have to do with that? Sure. We have to go back to the third floor, right? Actually, we're already on the third floor, if I'm not mistaken. Uh. Where am Bloody I? Body. Yeah, we took care of those last time. Okay. So what we have to do is we have to go back to S14 because it had that locked box, you know, and I said we couldn't we couldn't figure out that one combination. Oh, right. And my dog is vehemently opposed to going there. Yeah. Just so, you know. She startled me. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm already on edge, but hey, I'm, I'm not. I'm not complaining. I'm just saying it's just enhancing to to yeah. all the horror, all the atmosphere. I gotta take in. I scared the viewers too. Yeah. So there I'm, you go. I'm sorry. Jump, jump scare audio. Yeah. All right. So with this, twenty four. There we go. Twenty. Can I? Peanut butter cup cookies are wonderful. Oh, they're so addictive. Okay, twenty. Okay. There we go. Okay. Now, you might be like, what the hell? Why can't I do anything with this? Well, you see, you had to get that combination down, but then you gotta use the purple bull key to unlock it. There you go. That makes sense. Yeah. So, with that, there's nothing as... Oh, wait. No, there's hairs. Somebody like something. I don't really understand I mean, that's, that. That's one way of looking at it. I'm not insane. They just seem like it. Oh, that's fine. Let's see if I'm not mistaken. My duck will stop. Will stop barking sooner if you bark back at her. So we can go in this door. We could do that all along when we got to the third floor in this specific thing. But you can't do anything in here, you see. Because you'll look here and it'll be like, there's something stuck in the drainage pipe. The hole's too small. And I can't reach my... It looks like an ear. It does. Also, why is there some sort of green fluid headed towards there? Because ghosts. It looks like uh, Nickelodeon Gak. Oh, to me it looks like Ectoplasm from Danny Phantom. Oh, yeah. I miss that show. That Anyways, so for the first time, we have to combine items, and it's sort of wonky because you can, like, hit the combine, but really, you gotta use the use command in order to use your combined items. That's it won't automatically do that for you. It's not like Resident Evil in that sense, I guess. And that that's what threw me off the first time doing this, just because it was like, I combined them, why isn't it actually, like, combining? No, you gotta use them. In order to actually use them combined. It, what is he using to pull that up, by the way? He, that... he fished. He's using the hair to fish it That's out. That's what I thought. Yeah. The hair is not that strong. The few no, it's that not. he would have gotten would have snapped. Maybe, maybe it was just very delicate with it. Bullshit video game logic. <laughs> That's what that is. Well, I mean, it, I yeah. Because guess what? You, if you were actually in this situation, you'd be fucked. Because that shit would break. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I like. Used, I used to have long hair. Trust me, I know. He had, what, like three strands? Oh, I had no, long no. hair, too. By the way, we have to go to floor one. That, 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 that's what we're doing right here. We have to go to floor one. Now, I gave you a specific piece of information to tell me at this point. Right. Yeah. And uh, I remember it, so you don't need to remind me. Yay. So I, I got confused. It's okay. whether it was C2 or C3. No, so it's gonna... C3. Okay, so here's the thing. You see, we're, you see how we're, like, here? As far as I know, everything is locked. In fact, I'm just I'm just gonna test it right here. Yeah, I can't go out that way. For the most part, you will get notifications like that. That are just like, hey, uh, whatever you do, not gonna happen. I think you can actually do that though, so that that works. You can go back to floor one. So since, or, like, we're, since, since we're playing through this game, and I'm and I think this might actually reflect some of what we're doing 
tell me, do you think that life has inherent meaning? Do you think we create meaning? Or do you think there is no meaning? I think it's a mixture of both we create it and there is no meaning. In the sense that, like, life can be whatever you want it to be. You, you essentially make your own... You, you make your own choices, your, and they're very reflected in the choices that you make. So, based on the choices that James has made... Oh, you oh, think? you want to get philosophical? Is that yeah. what I... Oh, you, okay. Um, before that, because there's going to be a long walkie part, and I figure we'll start getting into a lot of philosophy here, because I got a lot to say, but uh, okay. there, there's something specific I want to talk about, but before that, we got a cutscene. Oh, we do. Yeah. This is why I wanted to hold off on going to C2 immediately, because you walk here a little bit, you try to explore, and then you see the little shit. Okay, she, I, I was, it took me a second to realize who that was, because I'm like, Oh yeah, it's, it's a little awkward right now, because she's all hunched over, but, can, can we all be honest, she, she's kind of been a little shit up until this point. A absolutely. Like, she steps on your hand. But aren't all, all children? <laughs> no, they can be generally nice. It, I think yeah, it's all I about mean, parenting. No, I know, I, I think it's all about how tired they are and what kind of mood they're in. Well, then, she's in a terrible mood all the time. See? Wait. Well, have you... She, she insults uh, Eddie, she insults... Me. Would you be comfortable sleeping? What's the big deal? If she doesn't happens. see this! I think it's apparent to everyone who's ever played this game. Like, she does not see a horrible setting. She just, she generally is oblivious to all the horror but going on. But she's still on. alone. Do you think she would be comfortable sleeping? No, that's debatable. Because, you see, they say the monsters are actually people. And oh, I have a question about that. about that. I have a question about that. See, and... Here. If the monsters are people, like legitimate people, why do they act really weird? And also, James just had a, a snapping moment. Because, you see, uh, what's her name? Mary was already about to I can't remember her name. I don't remember. Little kid. Yeah. Laura? Is it Laura? Oh, yeah, Laura. Oh. It is Laura. Oh, my God. Okay. So, Laura, she's like, um, Mary's alive. And James is like, you liar. That's what just happened. He, oh, okay. he, he snapped because, like, he... See, the biggest thing about James is he's very disconnected with a lot of the things, and I feel like anything that kind of tethers him back to, like, reality in that sense, like, of everything that happened, because we don't know what happened yet. Well, not technically. Yeah, um, I feel like it upsets him, like, he's not ready to accept it, and that's why he's always been very disconnected with reality, and that's why I think, as you play him, he acts extremely disconnected. I think it's very telling, depending on how willing you are to have a petty argument with a child, to what your psychological state is. He's... That's the thing, a lot of the characters, they're not very psychologically stable. Yeah. None of but them are. In your in your in response to your why do they if man. they're people then why do they act like that? Yeah, because like supposedly they're all high and that's why you kind of trip out when you go to Silent Hill. Like the the falling yeah, snow yeah. quote unquote is actually like the hallucinogenic drugs. Chances are then it might also be a nerve thing. Yeah, like, no, I believe why, that. That's why they're doing that. And James may not be moving as smoothly as we think he is. Because we're seeing this from his perspective. Yeah, I got another thing, but before that, there is something super specific I want to talk about. And it's related to this... You're a bad man! You stand! <laughs> that! That right... Look at all that detail. I remember that from my first playthrough. That is like a super amount of detail on the lips. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. And, and my question is, like, a lot of the You're monsters... You stand! A lot of the monsters associated with James are very sexual. And that yeah. has to deal with his sexual frustration. But, it, it's, oh, what's the magic word? You, you figure James, <laughs> you figure James would just say please at this moment, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, come on, how hard is it to just but be this, like... This just goes to show where he is. He's, he's not... I'm gonna, I'm gonna call Laura Snotty a little brat from now on. I think James had it right. Also, because we're talking about how the monsters reflect him, notice that these ones are in types of beds. Yeah, they're hanging in cages. They're hanging in cages, but they look like beds if you turn them on their side. Uh, I would say there's a monster closely resembling a bed later on. But we'll get to that. Anyway, shotgun! This is our first boss fight, well... No, this is technically a boss fight. Yeah, well, I mean, first real boss fight. You see, we had, like, pyramid head fight, but the thing about the pyramid head fight, you can't really win it. You just kind of have to endure it. Yeah. Uh, this one, you, you totally have to win it. 
And these things, I believe they're called fleshy lips. With good reason. They look like it. That amount of detail, it's like, what the fuck am I looking at? Yeah. I mean, granted, you look at the Silent Hill monsters and a lot of it's just like, what the fuck am I looking at? But that's how you know it's a good character design. Oh, yeah. And I mean, oh, I got kicked. I got kicked by the, the lip monster. I, I, that's something I didn't think I'd be saying today. I, I, I don't know. I, I, really, all I'm trying to say is, like, this this is a really fucked up situation. I mean, a little kid trapped us here. We have to fight, like, these leg lip yeah, monsters. If he, if he had just said please, he could have avoided the situation. Uh, that's what I think, you know? It's just, just like, please, Laura. Instead, he's just like, you snotty little brat. Yeah, Open the door. Yeah, how is that going to help you? Well, I mean, like, James thinks it's going to help. Well, he's clearly a moron. You know what? No, no argument. I think I won it. Yeah. That's it. That was easy boss fight, right? Yeah. Yeah, the boss fights aren't really too spectacular. Where is that letter? I got a trophy! Well, I guess you got a trophy because it's yeah. your PS3. I oh, think it was there's the sirens! You know what that means. We're going into the bloody overworld. Other world. Other world. Something Overworld. Like Over Something other. world. We're in the nightmare realm. Um, Lake. No, it's not Lake View Hotel. That's later. We're in the hospital. We're in the. Overworld. Brookhaven. Brookhaven. Overworld is Zelda. Sorry. Overworld. Alright. I, I think other. See, whenever I hear Otherworld, I associate it with Final Fantasy X with the rocking tune. The the one that everyone everyone likes is Jazz Boss theme. Shotgun shells. And a save. This is pretty good. I gotta I be think honest. It's very interesting that red, which is normally associated with death in games, is associated with salvation in this one. I would think it's more like passion or like lust. But in games, when you get a game over, oh, yeah. it goes red. Well, red is also a very danger heavy color. Yeah. Or at least I think it is. But and, and when you say less and stuff, I'm, but I'm saying that in the game of mechanics, the save, the salvation, the thing that allows you to return. That's a good point. Yeah. Is red. Yeah. That I want to go this way. I think I think I did. Yeah, this is the right way. Okay. So things are a little bit interesting. I'll go for a little bit longer because uh, you know we're we're still pretty good on time. I'll I'll investigate these things. We got nurses to have to deal with. God. I, I, they sound horrific. They sound horrible. I'm not a fan of them. You cannot understand them. Like, my, my, again, I have a question. Like, so they move very sporadically. They, 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 they kind of act very weird. And, it, and right. so it's like trying to rationalize these as humans. It's like, you can't, but it's like, how far do the drugs really affect the person? Because, I mean, like... You figure if there's a policeman, they'd have a gun, right? And so, you don't really encounter any enemies that use guns. They always, it's like pipes or anything very physical. That could be an, a side effect oh, of the drugs sounds. as well. But, Sorry. no, that could be a side effect of the drugs as well. But here's something that goes against that theory. Then how do we see Eddie? And how do we see the girl whose father abused her? How do we see Laura? I would say in the same sense that James is still rational and speaks to people. But then, why why don't we see... Well, I mean, the other side to this is how long have these people been and how long has Angela, Eddie, and James been in this town? Mm, that's a good point. That's a good question. I mean, because really, they, they all... I want to say they all relatively came around the same time. What, what I would actually like to see done in a Silent Hill game, which will never be done because I think Konami is pretty much done. Yeah, yeah. But if anyone would ever like want to take the, the Silent Hill motif, and work with it. I would actually like to see when you initially come, you see people, and then slowly they become human-like monsters, and then they progress as you stay in Silent Hill. Yeah, that's pretty to good. To non-human. I, I could get behind that. Anyways, I think we're gonna. I think we're gonna end it off here. I, I feel like we did a pretty good job. We fought our first boss, and we we met up with the little the little snot-nosed brat. Laura. I, I'm gonna call her that now because it sounds a lot cleaner Laura. and meaner i'm sorry i don't like laura at least not Why now don't you like laura? i don't like her now she get, she redeems herself a little bit later a lot of the characters do but anyways except eddie eddie can fuck himself <laughs> well <laughs> for the sake of this let's play i have to play the devil's advocate but we'll get into that later yeah we'll get to i okay. still hate eddie yeah it's fine 
I guarantee you by the same, by like this one point, we'll be on the same page. <laughs> All right. So we're, I'm going to end it off here. You guys take care. Join us next time for more Silent Hill. It's going to get even crazier. Sayonara.